tell you the story of a woman from the East who battled hellfire itself. It's true. When an evil force encounters an ordinary mortal, well, we all know how that will turn out. But when that evil force encounters a force of nature, I would bet everything I have on the force of nature. And in the East, we have such a force. Her name is Duchess Isabella of York. <laughs> One day, Duchess Isabella was visiting with her apprentices. And when it came time to leave, she loaded into her carriage four bolts of fabric, some tones on the making of clothing, and 180 pounds of honey for the making of meat. She was driving home, and she had almost reached her homestead when she had a violent, sudden encounter with a giant carrot. Now, this carrot bore heraldry on it. Ghouls lozenges with flames of fire, argent. There's no other way to describe this carrot than an 18-wheeler gas tank. <laughs> the impact was sudden and ferocious. The Duchess was not senseless. When she came to her senses and was able to crawl out of her vehicle, she said, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> it will take more than that to stop me. <laughs> now, a collision so spectacular will draw attention. And by this point, bystanders and her own family had arrived to assist her. The Duchess, coming to her senses, climbed back into the carriage. And before the shop witnesses pulled out four bolts of fabric, some tones <laughs> on the making of clothing, and 180 pounds of honey. She turned to the onlookers and said, I know it's important. Now, what happens to that large carriage and its driver? I know not. I can tell you that from that day forward, the Duchess was known as a force of nature with priorities <laughs> <laughs> and a flippant bard wrote these words. If some foul devil from hell's gate would stray, meeting the Duchess on some eastern way, he would be clever to alter his course. Fools and fools only would bar nature's force. But if he were foolish, that devil ill-bred, breaking her carriage and striking her head, I would advise him to heed this tale well, apologize fast, and speed back to hell. <laughs>